Yo, what's good guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Hopefully you guys are doing well and welcome back to my channel. For those that missed part one of this Pokemon Center exclusive booster box opening, I'll leave that in the iCard above. I don't know which way it is, it's probably right here. But I'll leave that there so you guys can watch um, part one, which we opened the Silver Lance um, booster box right here. But for this video, as you can see, we will be opening up the Jet Black Spirit or the Jet Black Poltergeist booster box for this one. And for those that are probably watching this before the other one, I'll just go through the contents. So we did get this special edition box. It does have this like glossy sheen to it with like the artwork of both the Glass Deer and also Spectrier, something like that. And also Calyrex uh, riding the top. We had Pokemon card game. We have the energies right there. And we have like the little symbols on the side. And yeah, so this is the little box that it comes with. It also comes with um, some deck sleeves and also a deck box of Melanie and her Lapras and like the Gigantamax ball. It's like a mint border for this one. And if we look at the deck box, we see Melanie and Lapras again. On the side, we see a Snom. I think it's so cute. And the Ice Cube um, in her gym, respectively. And it says Pokemon card game on the top in mint. Also a mint bottom. And yeah, that is basically it for the deck box. So just in case you missed that, this is the additional content that you get within the box. And the main reason why I clicked on the video was for this booster box. So let's actually get right into it. And with the plastic off, let's actually pop open the top. Take the packs out. Oh no, I actually ripped it. GG. Pull the tab in. Open it up. And we do have the QR code for the set list. Taking the packs out. And let's actually shuffle these. I think I just like shuffling them because I feel like sometimes it, it is quote unquote mapped, but not really. I think it's just my superstition. But yeah, let me just roughly shuffle these real quick. So I think these are shuffled pretty well, and also what I want to do, I just want to try for this um, unboxing, but I want to cut the tops off compared to just opening the packs individually, so give me another second as I do that. Alright, so there we have it, so all the packs got a nice fade, um, they got a nice cut, but hopefully none of the cards were damaged, not to my knowledge. But let's actually put the cards or the packs up here, and let's just get right into it, starting off with pack number one. So I believe the card trick is one to the front, and starting off we have a Seismitoad, I believe that's the name. Golurk, a uh, Palpitoad, I think, a Fletchling, and a Zera Aura V. Okay, so if this is in the Jet Black, then I'm pretty sure that alt art of this card is in here as well. So Zera Aura V, very nice. Starting off with a V card from the get. That's a great way to start. And on to pack number two, one to the front. For this one, we have a Rainbow Energy. Oh, cast form. I love the yarn and also the claymation styles, so I think that's a very nice touch. I just love the variety of the Pokemon art styles, but yeah. So the claymation is done by Mori and the yarn is done by Ito, as you can see right there. We have a Nuzleaf, a um, Crab Brawler, I think, and we have a Golduck. That's a pretty sick artwork for the Golduck. And on to pack number three. So one to the front. The hits in this set, I have no idea, except for the Zero Aura Alt Art, so we'll see what we can get. So we have a Galarian Weezing, a Rebombi, Lediba, a Timple, and a Scroll of some sorts with like some cloud patterns on it. Uh, I believe the other one had like fire or something, I have no idea. But let's just move on to our next pack. One to the front, turning it over. We have um, the daughter, I forgot her name, but... She's the daughter of Peony in the DLC. We have a Ladyba, Crab Abominable, a uh, Cutie Fly, and a uh, Crab Cobalion. I think that's the name. Cobalion Hollow. Also, shout out to Baba for the Cutie Fly art. Very iconic art style. And moving on to pack number, I don't even know. But we have a Malamar, Rengeki style, a uh, Squovet. Oh, love this art. We have a Sableye and like the mines with like a bunch of gems around him. We have a Ledian, very nice artwork, and a Weavile Rengeki form. So I'm guessing in Silverlands it was all single strike, whereas Jet Black is all um, rapid strike or Rengeki style. So very, very cool. So I like how they kind of separated that. And definitely cutting the tops off of these um, packs makes the opening so much faster. So maybe that's the way to go for future uh, Japanese unboxings. But for this one, we have a Haunter. Ghastly, can we get a Gengar? There is a Gengar in this set. We got a Fletchling, a Crab Brawler, keep forgetting the name. Oh, Celebi V. I do want to get that promo card of Celebi and also Sandaconda, but we do get the Celebi V. So this card just reminded me of that promo, but very, very nice. It low key looks like a Komiya somewhat based on the shading, but then 
It is definitely not, but if Komiya had a V card, that would be pretty sick. I know he has like, you know, alt hearts and stuff like that, but then Pokemon, give him a V card. Let him work on the V card, please, for the fans. Our next pack, we have a Thwacky playing in the snow. I love the whole like vibe, the, I guess the season of this pack is winter and I love winter. So I think that's such a nice touch. We have a Love Disc, a C Dot, a, uh, what is his name? I forgot. Inke, I think, but this is so cute. It's like playing around with the food. And we have a Metagross V. Let's go. Okay. Really like the art style. Very dynamic. Very action packed. Adding that to the V pile. And it's kind of weird how Metagross would be considered Rapid Strike. You would think that it's like a single strike Pokemon, but I don't know. Pokemon does whatever they want. Uh, we have a Golduck. A Sneasel doing like Fruit Ninja with uh, Obama Snow. Very cool. We have a Palpitoad, Golurk, and a Crystal Ball, right? I think that's, I don't know, it looks like a Crystal Ball to me. Moving on to our next pack. So one to the front, we have another Haunter. Oh, Kecleon, I love this artwork. It has like different Kecleons in the background, all the camouflage into their surroundings, but I think this is such a cool artwork. Loki, I wish this could have been like a Hollow or something, or even an Altar, that would have been pretty sick if they just filled the entire card, but. So we have a Kecleon. A Nuzleaf, a Timpole, and uh, Agatha. I know Jim loves um, loves Agatha. Um, for him, it's just a meme, but yeah, he's like, what about Agatha? Why isn't she in your waifu tier list? I'm like, they don't have a card for her. Maybe they do in this set, I have no idea, but I need to update that tier list eventually, but yeah, we'll get to that. So this one, we're starting off with Thwacky playing in the snow, a Obama Snow, Snowbominable. I'm tripping on these names, sorry guys. We have a Grookey playing in the snow as well, a Cutie Fly, and a Blissey V. Let's go. Blissey is broken in Pokemon Go, or I guess before they changed the gym system. This is like way back, but just going off tangents because that's just what I do on this channel. But yeah, we have a Blissey V. Just like smacking someone. <laughs> I feel like that's like the attack name or something. But yeah, we have a Blissey V. Very cool. So nothing, um, I guess, too extravagant yet. Like no VMAX, no, um, I guess, secret rare, hyper rare. But hopefully that can change. We got some superhero gloves from the looks of it. The Kecleon art, gotta love it. C Dot, Tim Pole, right? A Thwacky, and that is it. So pretty, uh, pretty mundane pack. And moving on to the next one, one to the front. We got some more gloves. Um, Green gloves, this look like, these look like gardening gloves or something, I don't know. So another Kecleon, a third one in a row, Snowbombable, I think that's the name, yes. Love Disc. And a Shift Tree, oh, Fukuda, okay. Fukuda does a lot of very dynamic art styles um, in his, I guess, Pokemon illustrations. He's infamously known as doing all the Gold Star artworks, so yeah, Fukuda is, he's a GOAT. Um, all of his art styles in those Gold Star cards are very dynamic, so very uh yeah very fitting for his art style next pack we have let's go we have a uh talon flame oh this is sal sal can see it right off the jump we have a sal sal um cast form and like the rain water form gotta love it we have a um Plobopus, which is done by mori the claymation golurk and a seismitoad we're winding down on the first half one to the front and for this one, we have a, uh, wait, what is this? Oh, the first, the pre-evolution's Golad. This is Golurk, I think, yeah. We have a Ghastly, another Sal Sal cast form, a Ledian, and a Crystal Ball. Can we get, I don't even know, like a full art? Like Melanie or something? I think that'd be pretty cool. We got, um, I believe this is Caitlyn. Um, she's like related to Cynthia in some way. There's a Squovet, a uh, Inkay, a Lediba and a VMAX Metagross. Let's go and Rengeki form. I really can't wrap my head around how Metagross is like a rapid strike, but I mean, it is what it is. But as always, love these VMAXs, love the texture, love the colors, love the swirls. VMAXs will always be like such a cool card. So we're done the first half. Let's move on to the second half and I'll try to pick up the pace if I can, but no guarantees because just artwork in this set is just incredible. A Rainbow Energy. A uh, Fletchender, Timple, NK again, and a Zepstrika Rengeki form. So Lightning kind of makes sense in terms of like Rapid Strike, but 
I don't know, Metagross? Come on. Next pack, one to the front. And yeah, definitely cutting the tops off makes opening these so much more easier. So, Agatha, shout out to you, Jim, if you watch this. A Emolga, a Sneasel doing Fruit Ninja, Thwacky. Oh, there it is. There is the Gengar, and this is done by Kusube. His art style is very like reminiscent, or not reminiscent. Um, it's notable for like his like cross hatching. Um, can't really think of any other cards off the top of my head, but yeah, that's a very notable trait of Kusube. So, but this is such a cool artwork of Gengar with like his giant tongue. Glad we pulled the um, Gengar. So this one we have a Caitlyn, Reap. Shout out to Gen Two, best generation. A Psyduck. I really like this art style. Ocha Keki. Probably butchered that, but shout out to you. Great artwork. A Ghastly, and a Greedent Hollow with uh, him taking all the berries or the fruits. One to the front, and we have a Weezing, okay. Oh, and this is Kasubi as well, so you see like the little like crosshatch patterns for like the shadows and stuff. It's very notable, I think. I don't know, I feel like um, Kasubi definitely stands out from like the norm, so I think that's pretty cool how like, you know, like Komiya, Kasubi, like Sao Sao, they all have like their distinct art style that you can kind of like pinpoint out, so maybe it's just me. I feel like other people just glaze over these uncommons and commons, but I don't know. I'm a fan of them, so coughing, a, uh, had to think about the name, but I believe this is Blitzel, um, just lost, or I guess trapped on like a iceberg right there, a C dot, and a, um, who is this? He looks like that Gene guy in uh, My Hero, but somebody. Moving on, we got, um, so far no, like, hyper rare yet, but hopefully that can change pretty soon. So we got, um, a stadium, really like the stadium art. We got a Fletchender, a Cutie Fly, Mareep, and they forgot the name Graplock, but he is just decimating that tree, man. That is pretty cool. So didn't really expect that artwork from like a octopus, but I mean, it is what it is. Another trainer, forgot the name of her. A uh, Clavopus, Psyduck. Oh, love this um, Flaffy artwork. And Sui is another one of my favorites. I feel like all of her artwork has like this like distinct like foggy appearance to it. I don't know, very like, I don't know, morning fog in a way, and a Tapu Fini, um, hollow. Hopefully you guys know what I'm saying in terms of like the foggy effect, I don't know. The very fuzzy wuzzy effect, I think that's what I'm trying to say. We are, I think, halfway done through our second half, so speaking of, we got a flaff, we have to get the Ampharos, probably in like, I don't know, it looks like some like control room or something. Definitely not the lighthouse. Next we have a Sableye in the Mines, the Sao Sao cast form, Blitzel, and a Golduck. I think shuffling definitely helped in terms of like putting the hyper rare to like the very end of the video. So yeah, definitely gotta shuffle the packs a little bit more. So we have a Golurk, a Emolga, a Crab Brawler, Squovet, and a Galarian Weezing. I didn't know how hard it'll be not like reading off the names off the card because I just have to like go off what I see. So it's like a fun quiz whenever I open these packs. But we got a Shift Tree, a Crab Brawler, Cast Form, Flaffy again by Sui. Oh, let's go. We got a full art waifu. We got Caitlyn. Probably just like woke up based off like the, the pose, but man, let's go. Speak of the devil. We're just talking about like, you know, having the hyper rare hit towards the end. And we do have a full art Caitlyn. All right, let's go. So definitely gonna sleeve her up. And as always, Japanese cards are so clean. Quality control is A+, but there we go. So full art, Caitlyn. So I think that is our hyper rare hit of the box. Can we get any more? I think we're due for like another VMAX and just like a few more Vs, but let's see. Oh, this is a very interesting uh, energy, but star energy because the stars in the background. Cast form, ghastly. Flaffy again, and the Ampharos, very fitting. That would have been cool if we got a Mareep in the pack as well. And how many packs do we have? Like five, including this one. We got the Superhero Gloves again, Blitzel, Cast Form, a Sableye. Oh, there we go. We got the Celebi VMAX. Woo! Celebi is probably like top three in terms of like mythical Pokemon. Mew is number one. I think number two is Darkrai, and then three is Celebi, but Man, Celebi is such a cool Pokemon, and to make it into a V form, I'm just waiting for a Mew V Max. Like, please make that happen. I know the Mew V was out in Darkness of Blaze, but please, we need a Mew V Max. Or maybe that'll come later, but Celebi V Max. Very, very nice card. And yeah, down to our last four packs. One to the front, and for this one, we have a uh, Zepstrika, 
always like confused on the names because I can't read it off the card. Psyduck, Coughing by Kasube, Octillery, that's not Octillery, it is Plobopus, getting generations mixed up, and a Cresselia Holographic. Very, very nice. Love like these rainbow shards that you see in the card art, but very nice. And last three packs, so pack number three from the back. So we have a Weezing, a Rebombi, cast form by Sao Sao, Marie, and a uh, Rillaboom right here. So this is a Rengeki form. I guess that kind of makes sense since he is playing the drums, but very cool artwork for this hollow. And I love like the little like lines around him. Last two packs. So one to the front. And for this one, we have a scroll of some sorts, a Fletchling, Thwacky, a uh, Rebombi, and a Malamar Rengeki form. Very, very nice. And for our final pack, can we get a Hollow V something to end it off right? So we have a Stadium, Sableye, Blitzel, Coughing, and we got a Talonflame non hollow. I think one thing that I learned was definitely cutting the tops off the booster packs definitely helps the video go by a lot faster. And also not sleeving the cards to go also makes the video a lot faster as well. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I do have a lot more unboxings to do for you guys if you guys saw my mail day unboxing. So I have a lot more to open. So please stay tuned for this channel. If you like this video, then please like the video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.